Welcome to Play One to Death. Every toy has a history and a tale to tell, and it is my job to document their stories for future generations. So let's get started. All superheroes have their favorite modes of transportation. In fact, I believe it's a requirement dictated by Marvel and Mattel for merchandising and written into their contracts. This van was an early attempt to cash in on the Incredible Hulk. Called the Hulking Green Van, it seemed a promising vehicle until one fateful afternoon in 1979 when Lou Ferringo, who was still channeling his character after a day of filming, experienced some road rage in peak hour traffic and discovered the van was nowhere near spacious enough for the transformation into the Hulk. Apart from a sore neck, Lou was fine following the incident, but insisted on being involved in any design of any future merchandise. Of course, being a professional bodybuilder, he lacked the artistic flair or imagination to come up with anything but a clenched fist, and that was all the merchandise that was ever produced.